So Richard, what are we going to look at in this session? The boards in a bit more detail. Yes, uh, and, and primarily the software as well. Um, we're going to talk about the Easy Reader Companion software. Um, right. All um, Eric Trancy has come with um, the software built into it, um, what we call our application software, which is basically an Easy Reader. It's a simple um, data in, data out protocol. Um, and we'll, we'll be using the Easy Reader Companion software on the Windows based operating system just to show how this works. Okay, we've got one plugged in already. Um, um, and also, when you first load these up, your Windows will need to discover the drivers, which it will do. If you have problem finding those drivers, you can go to our website. And I've noticed that it sometimes assigns a new COM port every time you plug it in. Not the same one, but if you get a new board, it will assign a new yeah. COM port. But once it's learned that one, it will, it will have that okay. one stored. Okay, so we've got two boards, obviously, both on the same machine. Okay. And you can open two sessions, can you? you correct, yeah, that's correct, you can. Easy Radio, Radio Companion. You can, yes. Obviously, you can write your own applications if you want to with the code compiler and uh, the, the software. That's advanced class. That's though, the advanced it? class, certainly. Uh, but we offer, offer the ERIC modules with, as you mentioned, the Easy Radio built into it. But we also do, in, on the software and the USB stick, um, a Demo 1 program, which includes Easy Radio Companion software again, but also adds in what we call some test modes. And these test modes relate to the board where you press the button switches. And there are some manual ones and some um, automatic um, okay. buttons. So remove his head, place wireless mic into the laptop, and we'll open the folder. Go to what's that one now? We'll go to the software section, and what, which we call the Eric Flash Programmer. Oh, we need to install a programmer so we can correct. actually program the device. That's correct. First. First. Uh, look for the latest, latest one. Uh, current one is version 1.1, and we'll run that. It's an exe file, so mm -hmm. user account control required, yes? Correct. OK, and you run through these. Uh, next. OK. And go, yes, next. Install. OK, finish. <laughs> that didn't take long. It doesn't take too long, no. OK, um, what I'll do is I'll keep this window open. Um, as I'll explain in a moment, the demo files are... are I can, this just I can see a folder here called Demo Hex yeah, Files. I assume you'll files. find them there, will we? Yeah, that's correct. OK, so we now need to um, find what we call the bootloader, which was installed with the Flash Programmer. Uh, so we go to All Programs, um, and down to the Apres folder, and there's Eric Flash Program. That's the there. Flash Pro Programmer, yeah. right? Yeah. Now you can create a desktop icon if you'd like. Okay. Looking back at the screen, you will notice that the Eric Development Board has appeared under COM12. It's been auto detected. That's correct. Yes. Um, what we can do now is uh, we need to find the demo one application. So we click on the folder, open file. Uh, in this case, it's gone straight to the demo hex files on our wireless USB stick. Um, so then we would select Eric Demo 1 and go open. This then appears in the top window. We now need to now press on this Eric bootloader version 003 COM 12. Just to highlight it. Correct. Yes. And then the, I guess, the, the flash, whatever you want to call it, lightning strike, um, will light up. That means you can now update that module okay. and you'll see now the blue lights are flashing this so is indicating that the module is being programmed that's been that's correct